Hey guys, Cell here. Welcome back to more Tales of Arise, the game that I still have yet to actually edit a single episode of. And we are level 40 something and uh, 36 hours into the game. Pretty much, yeah. I have a problem. I haven't played the game in two days, mind you, and I still haven't actually edited anything. I've been, I've been lazy. <laughs> I really should, because I have, like, videos that uh, go up to, like, two months. If I only upload one, as I usually do, a day. Uh, we were going to Calaglia, right? And we have other side quests, but I feel like we should get a little bit higher before we decide to go do them. Really, because then it might be a little bit easier, and Shion and Rinwell don't have their weapons yet. So, yeah. Either way, hey! I've been here in a while. Do these guys? Uh, what do these guys think of you know, Zephyr's death and whatnot? The fact that he died oh, literally. Calaglia. Feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Very Zephyr with on. us too? Dad. Hey, chin up. This is your hometown. Yeah, Zephyr died literally at the very beginning. Wait. He changed his clothes. But what? Wait, wait, wait. It said after you beat the final boss. I thought they meant the final boss or like the actual finale boss. No, they just meant to kill the guy in a... Ganath Heros. Whatever hell, the hell his name was. So he finally changed. What do you know? <laughs> hey, good to see you. It only took me a really long time, but I finally changed my clothes. Well... Uh, sorry, who are you again? I'm the guy who asked you for fashion advice. <laughs> I did as you suggested and picked out some bold clothing. How do I look now? Damn, you look tough and handsome now, like a real boy. Hmm. Oof, no. It's a bit of an eyesore. Aww. I know I should said be aggressive, but you look depressed for... Dressed for battle. You definitely stand out now, but uh, for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is hard, but I won't let this get to me. I'll just have to keep upping my game. That's the spirit. Good luck. She owned the fashion critic. Done. <laughs> I got no gold for that. Thanks, game. Well, hey, that's one side mission done. <laughs> Liberated Calaglia. Everyone around here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say. It feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was... Law? <laughs> Something bothering you, Law? Nah, I... I'll be fine. It's just... you know... <laughs> it still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... Uh, I should have been here. It's fine, Law. It's fine. No one will hate you for running away, right? Even though, technically speaking, because of what you did and, you know... Uh, Cislodia, that kind of got your father killed. It's, it, it's totally not your fault, though. Totally not. Oh, just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head, too. We're back. Hey, Nath. What? Can't you see I'm... Alfin? Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Ren and Rule, I'm up to my ears and Dan in disputes. And then, to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure we've heard this somewhere before. But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any around these parts, would you? A starship? What do you need one of those We're for? We're going to Lenegas. To get to Lenegas. Lenegas? Are you out of your damn mind? 
Nah, not really. Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. Oh, well, I believe it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, we've got stacks of old records. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Nath. I read through all of the records, but I only found fast. a single line that might point to what we're looking for. It mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? I don't know. There was nothing else in the records that came even close. It looked like it was someplace called Berg, but maybe I'm reading it wrong. Berg? That ring any bells for you? Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Another meteor in the same area? Really? I wonder if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. All the more reason to check it out. Can you tell us how to get there? The old Zion mine is up that way. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Go ahead and use that. Thank you very much, Nate. But you should be careful. Huh? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor, but there's a giant zoogle running right Great. in there. Never seen anything like it. A zoogle, huh? Well, I turned back as soon as I caught sight of the thing, so I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. I'm really getting tired of giant zoogles blocking my path. <laughs> hmm. Nath, are you ready yet or what? Oh, I didn't notice you there, Blazing Sword, and I see, hmm. Mm -hmm. You're Law, aren't you? Zephyr's kid. Damn, when did you get so tall? Can't believe a little pipsqueak like you is running around with the Blazing Sword himself. I'm sure your old mayor would be proud. All right. Go ahead, on ahead without me. I'll catch up later. You got it, boss. <laughs> see you around, Law. Don't work too hard now. Mm -hmm. Do you know that guy? I guess... Can't say I do. Even if I've met the guy before, last time I would have seen him would have been when I was real little. You could have at least said hello back to him. I'm the reason my dad's gone, remember? You must you know how much they looked up to him here. Law. Hmm. So I forget a sidetrack, let's just head out. Hmm. Hey, is Law doing okay? Not really, Zephyr's death is still weighing on him pretty hard. Can't say I blame him. Even if it's not his fault, I mean it kind of is. That's a big thing to have to carry on at his age. Right. Yeah, he's been trying to his best to come up to terms with it. I have faith he'll pull through. <laughs> Good, he's gonna need your support. He's still a just a kid, and Zephyr's only one at that. And eh, don't worry. I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well, we have to press on. We're going through Zion Mine to Berg Volcano. Let's move. Poodle's plumage. What's this? Everything okay with Hoodle, Rinwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. Galaglians born and raised here struggle with it too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He was born in a winter wonderland. Actually, Dan and Owls absorb the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance at all. But that's not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. Whoo! You mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. And with all this traveling we've been doing, it wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like a colorful painting. He's gonna become a I rainbow I think he suits owl. his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors, and his stomach and sides like a map of our travels? <laughs> he doesn't like it. I'll lay off, will ya? So much for the heat making him docile. You've only yourself to blame for that one. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. Fascinating. <laughs> an appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. <laughs> Dohalim. I think you've drawn his attention. <laughs> okay, then. 
Yeah, there are no side quests anywhere I still need to pick up, right? I have them all. Uh, no, I don't. Level 2 of Pelagian. The heck is this? Wait, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Thalpin. Nice to see you. Wow. Tilsa, did you come out from Calaglia to help out with things here? Mm. I sure did. I heard of what happened. It sounds like these people had it even worse than we did. If you can believe it, they might be physically free, but a lot of them still have a long way to go mental. So it seems, I actually have some knowledge about treating the mental health issues. I'm going to try and help them think independently while I'm here. Thank you. That'd be really great, but how do you plan to help them? Simple, by sitting down talking with them one-on-one, -on -one, asking questions, seeing how they respond, and counseling them. That makes sense. I wish we had the time and ability to do that kind of stuff ourselves, but we don't really. Stop feeling like you have to shoulder everything yourself, Alfin. You'll burn yourself out. You know what? Maybe you and I could sit down together for a session. What do you say? What? You really think I need counseling that badly? <laughs> no need to get so defensive. I just want to gauge how you're doing mentally right now. Oh, all right, well. Sure, let's give it a shot. Great! So let's see how this works yeah. out. Great, all right. I want to you to answer a series of questions for me, okay? First question, don't think too deeply. Just go with your gut. What's your favorite type of astral energy? Gotta be fire, of course. I guess water. Earth seems pretty suave, huh? I mean, fire. Okay, how do you like to fight? Close quarters or nothing? I actually enjoy long range fighting better. Close quarters or nothing? What is the most important thing to you in life? I'm all about the money, having my free time, my friends, obviously. There's a wall standing in your way. What do you do? Break it down, climb over it, turn around and leave. Hmm. That's all the questions for me. Now, as for your results, you're really the blazing hero. You care deeply about your friends and have strong convictions. You try to overcome any obstacles you meet, but it might do you good to look around and be more flexible in how you think from time to time. Wow. You know, I never really thought of myself like that, but maybe you're right. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. If you ever want another session, come talk to me again anytime. Okay, we'll talk with Tilsa. I am the blazing here. I wish I could get an examination. Well, if you say so. What type Let of examination? Me see. Uh, yes, you're in well, all right. If only your brain could keep up with your mouth. <laughs> Feels bad, Law. Feels bad. Okay, we're going to the Zeon Mines. But to get to the mines, you gotta go from Mars School, right? I mean, the garrison. Isn't it from there? Sandinus Ravine. No, it's not. Right here. So we're back in the Zion Mine yep. Tunnels. Who would have thought we'd be going through this place again? This is where you and I first fought together. And also the first time we touched, as I recall. Yep. Wait, <laughs> that that really? it is. Yes, really. I mean, technically it was at the outside where we first touched, and you pulled the sword out from inside of her. Technically without her permission. But yeah, it is where that happened. Wait, the main objective's over here. Is I know it's not showing on the map, but is there anything like in the very back? What? Are those the same Zoogles we fought when we got, got out? It's ultimately a waste of time, isn't it? Isn't this where they held her, held her prisoner? So this path is supposed to take us out to Berg Volcano? We're not gonna see any lava burst out in front of us or anything, are we? Don't get so paranoid you let a rock fall on your head, Law. I mean, he's good. He's right to be paranoid. We are literally going out to basically a volcano. So this could go one or two ways, really good or really bad. 
Preferably really good, to, so we can get some flame stones for shield's weapon. And granite, whatever, for Winwell's. Something tells me I'm gonna need uh, fire resistance here. Berg Volcano. I don't know, it's just a feeling why I'm gonna need possibly fire resistance. Ugh, so hot. Well, yeah. We've reached the inner portion of Berg Volcano. We need to find that starship. And fast. Wait, wait, well, are you gonna melt? Aw, <laughs> oh, but my attack... Uh, anyone who doesn't need what they have currently equipped? Eh, no. Whatever. Alright, what level are you guys? 38. That's far enough! Oh yeah, I changed I changed the vacuum blade. Getting the enemies out of my combos, though, that'd be great. I know fine weapon material when I see experience. it. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, we're high enough to the point where these enemies give us basically nothing. Except for the stuff that they would possibly drop. Which I didn't even pay attention to see what they did drop. Go, go, go me, right? Magma An opponent like this should be easy. Look uh, 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 Hurricane Here's a healing You have to aim for the target area on their back. Healing arc. Uh, I got I'll you have your uses. I'll stop it, charge. I'll show you how I can be. An astro That's my Coming through. Ha! Scarlet Inferno! Here, let the monsters made one! Blade Hound Spark! Luna Rondo! Hurricane be denied! Maelstrom! Spirit Flame! Hold on to your arms! Here I come! Another Where are you going? Do it! Kill! And this goodbye, man! Consider goal. yourself finished! My turn! Hurricane Spark! Damn! This one's mine! Vacuum Blade! Now! Still! This ends there goes now! The next one. Consider yourself finished! Now! No escape! And we win. Quite necessary when creating weapons. Nah, 1089. Not bad. Green fragment in flamestone. Hell yeah. I even got the dress. Let me take a look at it. Whoa, 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 Alpin, calm down. Do you really want to see her in this outfit that badly? I mean, so do I, but jeez. Down, boy. We'll get to see your lady in an outfit later. Okay, I need a camp so that way I can get them their new weapons. Oh, God. Huh. Well, there's no way we're climbing that. Dude, so it seems. Allow me to step in. Wait, you're not thinking of trying to vault over with your rod, are you? Why, I hadn't even thought that. In any case, stand back. I'll handle this. You're gonna oh, wait. His ability makes the stuff grow. But CP. So that's what his thing does. You can make plants grow cool. instantly? <sighs> what if we use this for fruits and vegetables? I'd rather not be our party's fertilizer. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong, and he's also not wrong. We don't, we don't need him to be our fertilizer. <laughs> you pick the wrong 
Oh, oh god, so these are different from the other ones. These actually spin in a, a circle. Oh, that way. They still do the same thing. No armor can stop me! Remind me to stay on your good side. This one keeps charging us! That's what my shield's for! Get behind me! Good! I'll leave it to you! Back in blade! Blades on fire! I can carve through armor! Shield and flame inside me! Yours to be let free! This is mine! Going I'm not done. I'm going. Going now. Consider yourself finished. Make your way. Astral energy. Two. Oh, that's three. That's three. All right. Looks like it could be worth something. A spherical shell. Thank you. We've already gone to the other side, and we can't go anywhere further there. That's just a way to drop back. Useful ability, though, to make the stuff grow so we can climb. Not bad at all. So, do I really need to fight these guys? Not really. What the hell are you doing running out? Starting to sting, and my throat feels super parched. Here, have some water. Just make sure you don't drink too much. Thanks. You want some too, Shion? Oh, wait. I bet you're hungry more than anything, <laughs> aren't you? I'm fine, thank you very much. <laughs> ah, you do know her, don't you? Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's, it's there. We can climb. Come on. Come over here. You know what? Fine. Wanna be a dick? I'll, do I'll fight you in just a year. Still in one piece? Yep. And it missed the Luna Corps. Thank you very much. All right, Dohaleen, we need you to do this. I'm also going to need to start buying orange gels and whatnot. Mainly because I'm actually starting to use them outside of combat. Oh, wait, this is how we get back. Okay. So now we can climb back up without an issue. Yeah. It's down here. Wait, did I loot that chest that was back there? Oh yeah, because I got the gothic dress. And you're gone. This one's got your name on it! Action to action! The enemy wields art too. You'll see about that. that. A charge like that can easily be fatal. Just as well, I'm here to stop it. Vacuum blade! You picked the wrong fight! Radiant I'm out of the way! Oh, oh, oh. Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cyclone! Get it! Get it! Get Nice technique! Oh, no, no! Oh, 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 no! O
<laughs> I, lo I love it. Consider yourself fit. Enemies, it's fun. What would be even more fun now is vacuum wave turning into a new ability. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mode. mode. Nice. Fit indeed. This will make us even more formidable. I'm assuming that's for you, right? Yep. But, because we did that quest, Elemental Guard is actually better. Well, dang, I guess I can sell that gear for, for you know, money. Unless you can craft armor at some point, which I doubt. Bring it on. Little help. You want me? Come get me. Look at you. This is coming, Andy. Reload. You're mine. Crush. Shiny super Pesky airborne scoundrel. Sounds like a job for your crewmate. Going in. In here. Vacuum blade. Going in. Radiant blast. Here. Not today. Supernova! This one's mine! Wow! Wait, one at a time! We did it! As impressive as always. Ah, here I go, No, no I, I mean, you're even better than ever. Oh, I've never seen Keon actually look faster. Make it ready! Astral energy! Of course, the shield is done to get more in touch with her true feelings for Alfin. That astral energy was incredible! <laughs> yeah, I gave it everything I had! Alright. Construct a bridge, Zohalim. This bridge will hold itself together, right? Most definitely. Though I won't make any promises. <laughs> Which one is it? Ah, oh, we're out of CP because of that now. No! That equipment should come in handy. This should be for... Yep. Thank you! Alright. Out of CP, and we're almost out of here. I think. Right? Oh, no, we're not. There's still a decent more places to turn and look. I won't forgive you! Hey, I think there was only one. Alright, good. Commander of Heaven! See who got thrown out of the way. First time I've ever seen them bouncing up and down. Thank goodness we won. Ooh, nice. Thank you for the goal. Okay, so this leads up, down, and around. We want to stay up here first. Also, save the game since we've come this far and we have no more CP. Just in case something bad happens. Energy. Say no 
Wait, oh my god, I have one HP. How the hell did that happen? What the hell did I get hit by? So I technically would have died here had I not have had, you know, KO prevention. They've really got us on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. Oh, and I'm like, wait, why am I not healing? Oh, that's why. We don't have any healing. I mean, I have gels. I really want to use one right now? No. You know, technically, I think I should. Get lost. Okay. Well. Four hundred to nothing. This one's mine. I can carve through one. If it's in the sky, I'm not. I never miss. Do it. Do it. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! My turn! Time to I'm die! I'm not done! It's done! Damn. Do it! This one's Bring mine! On. Astral energy! Win. Say no more! Oh, we did, okay. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Yeah. Let's dispose of the trash. Are those rocks? Yeah. Is she on one experience away from 41? How the hell did that happen? Literally one point of experience. Oh, hey, another gold gel. Thank you. That'll come in handy for the actual final boss. Unless we can actually buy gold gels, in which case... Not as useful, because you can buy it. Or technically rare at that point. I think that's my second one it's now. It's crazy to see rocks melt before our eyes. Watch where you're going, everyone. If you fall, there will be nothing left of you. Exactly. So don't try anything funny. Especially you, Law. <laughs> no pushing anyone. Not even as a joke. I'm not a little kid! <laughs> Only a little kid would yell out like that. <laughs> Is there anything we can use here? I don't see it. Oh. That's just a way to skip enemies. Okay. I mean, it could very well lead us to something. I just didn't know. Either way, there could have been a chest here, so I had to check. I will, however, leave and come all the way back if there's no boss or we get a teleport at the very end. But then we can get both of the, our final leveling up 
weapons. Then we can do it. Yeah, I can't even see if there actually was anything there. Okay, well, let's just say there's nothing over here. Not oh, dang it. Yep, we have to. Orange gel. It's only set up the one way. I didn't know you had that sort of trick up your sleeve, Dohalim. I would have figured rocks and plants would be too different for you to handle both. Not necessarily. Both of them contain Earth astral energy. Luckily for me, this area is rich not only in fire energy, but Earth as well. Okay. So, Absolute, is that mine? Oh, hell yeah, it is. Okay, well, I'm only doing it for this. I will see you guys at the exit. Okay, and here it is. The green circle that I figured we probably would get. Well, we did it. Time for whatever hellish lava monster we, we got to fight here. My God. Attack of Tans. What the hell is that thing? Probably that monster Nath warned us about, if I had to guess. Do you think this might have been where one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed? But why this location? If the purpose of the wedge is to harvest Dana's astral energy, we can figure that out later. If that thing gets into town, it's going to cause chaos. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go! Yeah, because that's just going to be such an easy task. I'm assuming a technical on its chest as well. If it falls down on the ground. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Here it comes! Oh god. Focus! On your toes, everyone! Suddenly turning tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. Why? Are you scared? Me? <laughs> Are you? Do you even have to ask? Of course I'm scared. Focus up before we become that thing's lunch. It's summoning Zoogle? Take care of them while keeping an eye on it. Ah. Go get Burn. No more playing nice. Go in. Take that. This one's mine. You're mine. Take Take it. It. Get in 
amazing. I never missed one. Going in. Here, let me help. All right. Looks like you came to my rescue as well. We need to be careful with the blazing sword and with the thorn. Shia. What is he just doing this stupid toy? That stupid toy of yours. Finally! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Here come more! You'll just have to keep fighting. This one is mine! That's my cue! Annihilation! Shut him down! Vacuum blade! Annihilation! Take this! I'm not done! This one's mine! Look sharp! Lightning blade! No escape! Eat dirt! Damn! Anything in armor is all mine! Don't mind if I do! Vacuum blade! No vacuum floor! Oh my god. Can't get out of this. One more time. I can show you mine if you like. That would be really awesome, Leon. Looks shocking. Light burst four. Radiant Genesis. Here, mark it up. Looks shocking. Anything in armor is all mine. Luna Rondo. Not today. This is looking good. This is what real pain feels. Oh come on! I'm not sure how we get out of this one. Oh geez, Shion. <laughs> this, one's mine. this might be the end? Reset. No, never. Stay strong. First aid. Yeah, talk about a waste of CP I just did. You require a hand. I don't know why if I'm up, the resuscitation won't just go to someone else. Is she on? I'll bring you back from death's abyss. Okay, I just had to tap you to get you to do something. I still got some reinforcements fighting. incoming. Not a problem. Dance for the win. Air thrust. No more playing nice. Mega ray. Where are you going? Here I come. Blue escape. This isn't ideal. Luna Rondo. Thunder PS. I'll forever save you. Mega ray. This can't be happening. Look sharp. Don't mind if I do. Vacuum blade. Tiger blade. Light funnel. Ready to go. Damn the flaming side. Let's go. First aid. Power cap. Too much to handle. Ignite. Oh my god. Lemon gel. Ready and Item. Orange gel. Not on my watch! 
the earth throbs in pain. Here, let me help. Dance here in the I wind come. Aid. Okay. In here. here I come. Luna Rongo. This is my hurricane. Please, for the love of God, break this stupid boy. Look sharp. Take this. Plenty left. Mighty Lord. Hurricane the boy. Anything in armor is all mine. I'll smash you on the ground. Finally. Let's go. Item. Lemon. He saw it. Sealed. Here's a hero. Guess I have to use the God dang it, she on. Item. Lemon gel. She on. As impressive as always. Uh, here I hope that was improved. No, I, I mean, you're even better than ever. I've never seen Sion actually have flustered. Item! Orange gel! Jesus Christ! I should have stopped up on items. I'll bring you back from death. Good shot! Great suffocation! Here's a healing arc! Now I can let the mark. I let my guard down. You can't lay a finger on it. I prefer Lemon. She's dead. That's it. What about you? Just watch and see. Anything in armor is all mine. I'll smash you! You get the death. I'm not right away. You're finished! Here I come! Cat vacuum blade! Now! Astral energy! Say no more! We won't surrender. We won't retreat. Not yet. Whatever you do, just please stay safe. How are we supposed to take on something so big? I'll handle it. Just Alvin. watch and learn. That's enough. Uh, go back down. Unrelenting blaze. The team is unlocked. I did it. Everyone's dead, but I did it. <laughs> Oh my god. But let me if the AI stop dying half as much as they were doing. Jesus Christ. Everyone okay? It wasn't even me that time, yeah, it was literally the computer. So. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? Perhaps a living spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go. Alfin, Unrelenting Blaze. Thank you for giving me another thing for Alfin. And an increased AG. I'll take that gladly. Incineration Wave, Flaming Edge, Ground Attack, Flame Strike. A swing from the blazing sword that summons a large pillar of fire and inflicts self damage when used. Increase evasion distance. Increase the distance traveled when dodging enemy attacks. 
Flaming Edge Burst. Would also be nice. Master Flaming Edge Charge. The amount of HP consumed while charging remains unchanged. Yeah, I'd say, um, this. I'll work on all of these later on. S Secret key. The key to a certain door in Calaglia. Simply beholding it makes one wonder what... I know where this goes. I've been trying to get in that door for quite a while in Jesus Christ out experience. Don't worry. I've got your back. I cannot believe that Alpin actually lived on 1 HP when everyone else died. It makes no sense either, if you think about it, because his KO prevention already freaking activated. So unless when I revived, I got my KO prevention back, I technically should have died along with them, in which case it should have failed the battle. But I didn't. And because of that, we get to continue on without having to stop. I'll gladly accept that. Now, what I would also gladly accept is another resting area. Preferably where I can get our new weapons for the last two of us that are in the main party. That'd be great. And I really need to start buying resurrection healing items. Hey, is that it over there? <sighs> yep. Oh, hello there, sir, that I would have wanted before the battle. It's Supreme Ignis Roar, Create and Equip, Taming Water 3rd Edition, Craft and Equip. Thank you. I already have the Red Shield. Accessories, Manage Ranch. Apple Gels, Lemon Gels, Grape Gels. Orange gels, pineapple gels. I have nine pineapple. I'll get six orange gels. Life bottles. Go up to the max I can buy, which is 15. And that is it. Okay. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Here's how a starship. <sighs> the thing that Naori sent me down it. Alvin? Did you remember something? No, but I have seen this starship before. This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenigus. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. All right, you do that. Damn, I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. The past meets the present. I really am from a different time and place. Yeah, but you've got us now, Alfin. Not only that, but you've helped out so many people, too. Law's right. Rinwell, too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. You're a part of this world. Same with you, Shion. Right. Naoi. Thanks, you guys. Whatever you want to be called right now. Let us in already. More so than you already have. Especially Alfin. How's it look? It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. How much time are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte. 
So I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. That's because you're a child. Oh, but how about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? I've already Good done idea. it. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenigus once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. Ah, Let's so try this not is to the stay uh, away too point long. of no return. I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead, or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. Works for me. Yeah, this is literally the place of no return, man. So, essentially, they're telling us to do every single side quest we can right now. Because when we leave for Linagus, we probably won't be coming back. And where the hell is that campfire? There it is. It's funny, isn't it? What is? All this. When we first started this thing, did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenigus? After all, this is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have persisted for 300 years. <laughs> Deep down, I knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenigus. Yeah, you maybe, but you're a Renan. The rest of us can barely even picture what it means to leave Dana. No offense to Shion and Dohalim, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken. <laughs> and this is no picnic for me, either. Remember, our aim is to ensure that both Lenigus and the Renan homeworld leave Dana alone for good. I don't think we'll be able to avoid a fight. Is there no way we can talk them into leaving us alone? The people of Lenigus? Sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Shion and Dohalim, right? And it's not just us. If places like Menencia can do it, then why can't because we- Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and natural that Rena reigns over Dana. There are those on Lenigus who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. But these are the same people who fired that wedge down on Dana. What happens next is on them. Right. We're not going to sit back and wait for them to oppress us again. Right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman is somewhere on Lenigus. And wherever she is, we should find the Renesalma, too. That's right. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. <sighs> Xion? Huh? Uh, yeah. Come on, Xion. Speak up. Or forever hold your peace. Hmm. This is the last possible time. Maybe. The way they're talking, it's probably the end. What? Just the beginning of the end? <sighs> How the hell do you fall Where? asleep like that? Shion? Your party disbanded. Where did Shion go? How could she just go off on her own? I need something to eat. You, you're telling me you can't see her, like, right here. Shion. Shion! It's your thorns? But why? You okay? Just now, I looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? S 
Stay out of my way. You're not using this starship, Shion. Wait a second. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! <laughs> I won't let you. Oh, we got a fighter? I mean it. I, I only have one HP, you. but I'll fight. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case, then go ahead and shoot me! <laughs> that's right, you can't. Everyone's awake now after hearing Alfin scream. Well, yell. At the top of it, as long as the shooter. Do you remember back when I was stabbed by Volron? Yeah. I thought for sure that he had killed you back there. That wasn't the first time. Huh? The first time was when I was only a child. After that, no matter how often. I just couldn't die. Couldn't die? So you're immortal? How's that even... <clears throat> I believe you, Shion. But tell me how... How is something like that possible? My thorns. They're me, but at the same time, not. They're part of me. I have no idea why. But my thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. You can't die before your death? When my thorns free themselves, it will be my death. <laughs> I've seen it. A darkness that swallows up everything until nothing remains. It's a vision of oblivion I can't escape. I want to believe it's all just a bad dream. But no matter what I tell myself, I... I know it's not. Yeah, but you... Wait. The whole reason you... You needed the Renesalma was to get rid of your thorns, right? If I burn away what's inside, then what will happen to the rest of me? Right. Either way you look at it, I'm going to die. But if I am going to die, I figure I can at least take my thorns out with me. That's what I've been after this whole time. She's been trying to find a way to die. Wow. That's why you turned your back on your fellow Renans and chose to fight with us, isn't it? while we've all been fighting to keep on living you have been with us fighting desperately to die that was the plan but then I met all of you and I before I knew it I didn't want to die anymore Don't lose hope yet. We'll find a way to save you. There's still time to. It's pointless. Why? Because the darkness won't just consume me. The truth is, it will consume all of existence as well. It was only a suspicion at first. But ever since the Red Woman triggered my maiden powers, I've been more certain than ever before. It was then that I finally came to realize my powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. But they don't anymore. Not since Lenegas. 
when the wedge fell. Every day, I feel the thorn's power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. And when that happens... They will consume all existence. <sighs> and that's why you wanted to leave by yourself. Yep, she just wanted to hurt us. To find the Renis Alma on your own, and sacrifice yourself to stop the thorns. But that's... Too much. It's way too much. When this all began, I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I have to die. But I don't want to. Not now that I have this. I wish we had never met. Then I wouldn't have to feel this way. She on it. Dying is no better than being a slave. How can you endure this? Elfin. It's not fair. I don't care what anybody says. I won't let it happen. We can fight this. We'll fight until the end together. Isn't that what you said to me before? Even if it should mean that it'll be the end of everything else, too? Of course. We'll find a way to stop it. Or die Sion, try. What do you want? It's your decision, ultimately. But if you decide not to fight fate, I will. Even if I have to do it alone. No. You won't be alone. I'll fight as well. Count me in as well. I want to be a force for good, not hate. And me too. I meant it with all of my heart when I told you before. Neither of you are alone in this at all. You guys. And I, for one, don't believe this venture is without hope. Huh? Shion is the descendant of a maiden from 300 years ago. Given the circumstances, it seems very likely that those events have some connection to her thorns. The true nature of which, I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenegas and uncover the truth of what's unfolding here. I take it you mean we might find a way to get rid of her thorns and she'll live? It's certainly possible. Though I suspect the nature of the Sovereign is connected somehow. So be it. I've already lost everything I had once. And I won't let it happen again. Shion. No matter what happens from now on, we're right here with you. All of us are. You are not alone. Hey, hey, she's guys. crying. You're all so stubborn. Thank you, everyone. For right now, and a little while longer, I just want to hold on to this dream. And most of all, more than anything else, I want to be with all of you. Hey, all right. So let's go. On to Lenicus. Yeah, hold that thought. We still have stuff to do here. I also need to look up if there's a true ending to this. And if it involves those other powers that are on Dana. Before we go. 
But of course, I gotta talk to everyone before I can even do that. <laughs> 